Hi, I'm uh, Vivian Levinskis. I'm with the uh, Singer Sewing Company, and I'm here to showcase our new Futura uh, sewing and embroidery machine. Uh, first of all, what I'd like to mention is that uh, it's a sewing and embroidery machine. Uh, embroidery is possible uh, and is powered uh, by your computer. Okay, there's software that comes with the machine, and uh, you load that into it's got to be a Windows based uh, program. So you simply load the software into your computer. Uh, you're going to connect the computer talks to your sewing machine via a USB cable. And so, what we're going to do uh, the first step is you turn on the sewing machine and then open up the program, which I've already done here. Then you're going to recognize a, a lot of you see the toolbars are very similar to a Windows based program. Uh, you're going to uh, go to create and you can see I have a design library you've got some lettering and then uh, these are all additional programs that you can add to the software uh, auto punch is actually is included with this machine and it gives me the capability of uh, taking a clip art image uh, filling it with stitches and then sending the design to my machine photo stitch will allow you to take uh, a photograph of someone, fill it with stitches. Uh, Hyperfont uh, will um, allow you to use any of the built-in fonts from your computer and then uh, again fill them with stitches and send them to the machine. Let's just quickly take a look. This is our design library. There are 120 patterns built into the, the software when you do purchase it. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a variety, they're for uh, uh, children, they're for adults, there are themes. Uh, you've got for large hoop and for small hoop, so there are, uh, again, a few more in this hoop here. And, for example, uh, let's say we wanted to uh, select this, uh, one of the little, uh, here, let's say the horse. So I'm going to select this, and what it does, you see, it brings it inside of this hoop. When I right click my mouse and I apply, it's going to fill the pattern with stitches. Okay, you can change the size. I'm going to go to uh, design and you see here where it says change size. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna hit this little percentage which brings it to 100%. And uh, you have your X and Y which is the um, uh, uh, X and Y axis. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's say we're going to uh, increase the size by uh, to 125. You can, of course, scroll through, or if you want, you can, while it's highlighting, you can go in and enter your size. Uh, and notice it does, because I have the percentage here, it's going to uh, work both the X and Y together. Once we're ready, we click OK, and it's going to change the C. So you see this, the uh, change of the uh, design. Your next uh, step is we're going to go to the little sewing machine here. I'm going to click on here. It's going to um, uh, display the pattern or the uh, design by color block. This particular design, if we just move down right here, notice it's got three color blocks. And because the machine is threaded one color at a time, the first color will be brown, the second color will be the green, and then the last will be the third. If you like, you can reorder these. Uh, for instance, let's say you wanted to put the green as the last. What you can do is right click, and you see here, reorder, so I can move it over. If you want to remove a color, you would just delete. Very, very simple. Uh, when you're ready to send a design, you simply click on send block, and what it's going to do when I click here, it actually sends the design directly to the machine. The hoop, you may have heard some movement as I, when I sent that. What it's done is it's positioned my hoop in the center. So this is uh, actually the machine. I have the embroidery unit attached. So you see this here is the embroidery unit, okay? And then the hoop attaches right here. Uh, you simply secure the hoop in place by tightening these two screws and then uh, we're actually ready to sew or to embroider because I've already threaded my machine. All I do is I there's a little uh, green light button here. I click on that. I like to start it. Okay, and then I like to, to stop it. Once, you see here once it started to sew, I like to stop it. I'm just going to take my scissors and I like to clip my thread. And then you can actually set the machine back to work. And you can actually walk away from it because the machine, for example, if your thread should break, 
uh, if it should become uncredited, uh, the software will recognize that and will stop it. And then, of course, it won't start again until you come back and and, uh, uh, and clear whatever the uh, issue may have been. Now, once this color is completed, the first color, uh, the machine will automatically stop. The, the software will recognize that I've completed the first block. Then I'll simply need to go back to the software, send the second color, the second block, rethread my machine, and then continue. So, you know, if you've got, like, for example, this design is three colors, uh, I'll have to change my uh, the color on my machine three times. So it's very, very simple as far as that goes. And then uh, you can also, one of the um, nice features of the software is that you also uh, can download designs from the internet. Uh, in fact, on our website, uh, the singerco.com website, we feature every month uh, a free download. So you just come to our website, uh, go to where it says projects and uh, downloads. You click there and every month we offer a new design. Uh, we also offer uh, a project that goes with the design. So if you're looking for ideas, we have a lot of ideas uh, there as well.